It's time now for The Splash on Civic Center TV. On this week's episode, Fire Marshal Turnquist has some new safety tips for us over the summer. Then West Bloomfield residents get a taste for some coffee from Miracle House. And later, the city of Sylvan Lake unwinds for the weekend with a family fun day. The Splash is a production of Civic Center TV. We're a news magazine that covers everything from local news to feature stories, all so that we can bring you the latest from the greater West Bloomfield area. And now, let's dive into The Splash. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Splash. I'm your host, Jonathan Jackson, and it's good to have you with us. Well, if you remember when we first started The Splash, we talked with Fire Marshal Turnquist from the West Bloomfield Fire Department on some home safety tips for the spring. But with summer approaching fast, he had some new advice to share with us. And The Splash's Cecilia Gallio was there to file this report. The summer months are here, and that means more time outside with barbecuing and enjoying other summer festivities. But there's one thing you don't want to forget this season, fire safety. Byron Turnquest of the West Bloomfield Fire Department is back with more fire safety tips and reminders to help you and your family have a safe summer. With the temperatures getting warmer, more and more residents are going to start using their barbecues. It's very important that while using a barbecue, you have a fire extinguisher handy. Turnquest said the department has witnessed many accidental fires in West Bloomfield. It can be easy to get distracted, but he urges the community to never leave stoves or barbecues unattended to help avoid these accidental fires. To continue the summer fun, TurnQuest offers extra precautions to keep in mind while cooking. It's very important that while you cook, you keep the lid to the pan nearby, and we advise people to turn off the stove if possible, put the lid on the pan, and usually the fire will go out. Throwing water on the fire or using a fire extinguisher on the fire will only spread the burning contents of the pan and make the fire worse. The state of Michigan legalized fireworks. However, TurnQuest wants to remind everyone in West Bloomfield Township and when and where they can be used locally. In West Bloomfield Township, fireworks are only allowed to be used the day before, day of, and day after a national holiday. Fireworks can only be used on private property. They can't be used out in the road. They can't be used on your neighbor's property, and they can't be used in a public park or in a school playground. And although sky lanterns are appealing, TurnQuest shares how they can actually be a safety hazard. Township ordinance also prohibits the use of sky lanterns. Uh, we, they're very popular around the lakes. Uh, people like to ignite them and set them free and watch them float off. Uh, unfortunately, all you're doing is setting free an uncontrolled fire. These tips are a great way to make sure you and your family have a safe and fun summer. Reporting for The Splash, I'm Cecilia Gallio. We want to thank Fire Marshal Turnquist for that timely update and also thank our very own Cecilia Gallio, who has filed her final report with us today and is moving on. But we wish her all the best. And if you'd like even more home safety tips, you can visit civiccentertv.com slash summerfiresafety. Well, if you're a fan of coffee, then this next story might just be perfect for you. At the West Bloomfield Public Library, residents got a taste test and history lesson on the drink itself. And our very own coffee lover, George Moore, was there to try it. What do you know about coffee? Think you know it all, huh? You'll find out tonight here at the West Bloomfield Public Library in the main meeting room where Kevin Miracle of Miracle Coffee is going to tell us the different types of coffee, where it's grown. He's going to introduce some different lattes that'll taste really good to you. So join us. This will be a lot of fun for all you coffee lovers out there. A coffee is just the everyday drip coffee that you drink, you make it at home. A latte is with espresso and steamed milk. And then if you have flavors, there's all kinds of different flavors to add to it. This is Kevin Miracle. He's sort of a coffee aficionado and owner of his own shop called Miracle Coffee. But here at the West Bloomfield Public Library, he's providing a history lesson on the brew itself. Coffee has been in Kevin's life since the beginning, and it's even brought him closer together with other people. I grew up in a family that drank coffee every day, and it was something that we actually came together sometimes as a family just to drink coffee. Mm -hmm. So not only is it just something that you sit down and drink, it brings sometimes people together for different reasons. For those who don't drink coffee or are unfamiliar with the taste, it can be hard to tell the difference between a latte or an espresso. But as Kevin explains, they are very different drinks. 
So an espresso is a very concentrated coffee. So what we do is it's a different type of grind and it's a different drip process. For normal coffee, like you normal to, you know, normally know, is you just stick your grinds in your coffee pot and you pour the water in and you, and you drip coffee. With the espresso, it actually goes through and is pressurized with steam and water and you get a nice concentration of a very highly concentrated uh, cup of coffee. And at that point, you put it in lattes and cappuccinos, or you can drink it by yourself. Kevin is not only the owner of Miracle Coffee, he's also one of his baristas. Consider yourself a barista? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. When you stand behind there and you're making a cafe latte or a mocha or a cappuccino, you better be good at it and you better be a barista. We want to thank Kevin. We want to thank the West Bloomfield Public Library for another great presentation, and we look forward to doing it again real soon. For the splash and Civic Center TV, and a person who had some coffee. I'm George Moore. Thanks, George. You know, I think I learned a little bit more about coffee myself, and I don't even drink it, so kudos to Kevin there. But as always, we love to bring you fun and informative stories just like this. And if you'd like to see even more, then you can visit civiccentertv.com slash miraclehousecoffee. Coming up, though, residents of Sylvan Lake celebrated in a big way over the weekend. And, of course, George Moore will be back with another episode of Sidewalk Talk. Stay tuned. Don't go away. You're watching The Splash on Civic Center TV. Civic Center TV celebrates our region's natural beauty, proud history, tremendous accomplishments, and more with Another Angle, a series featuring a unique bird's eye view of our area's landscape. Watch Another Angle on Civic Center TV, television that's close to home. Civic Center TV has gone social. Now it's easier than ever to watch, save, like, and share our videos online. See what's happening in your neighborhood, on the streets, and on the web at civiccentertv.com. Be a part of the conversation and get involved. We would love to hear from you. For links to our social media pages, visit us at our website or find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Civic Center TV, television that's close to home. The best way to know when shows debut on Civic Center TV is to become a member. It's absolutely free. We'll send you a regular newsletter with all the latest updates. Just go to civiccentertv.com and click the Members tab. Civic Center TV, television that's close to home. And now, back to the splash on Civic Center TV. Welcome back to The Splash. I'm your host, Jonathan Jackson. Our next story comes to us from Sylvan Lake, where residents got to relax and enjoy one another's company at the annual Sylvan Lake Family Fun Day. And our newest reporter, Tyler Kieft, was there to get the story. On a hot June day, family and friends alike yearn for outdoor extravaganzas. In Sylvan Lake, they find themselves at the annual Family Fun Day, an event with a little something for everyone in the community. Sylvan Lake. Family Fun Day is an event for the Sylvan Lake community and the surrounding areas. Uh, we get several businesses and residents uh, in the city to donate money and we put on a family day where we have bounce houses, water slides, uh, we have police cars, the fire department, we have a magic show, uh, face painter, airbrush tattoos, uh, a lot of food uh, and fun for the kids. With an assortment of rides, exhibits and shows, Sylvan Lakers dove headfirst into a weekend of fun times and community camaraderie. This event just helps bring um, the community together in unity and just helps people get to know each other, which builds a stronger community. Bringing the community closer, Family Fun Day has become a June tradition in Sylvan Lake. This is actually the 10th year that this event started. We started this event back in uh, 2006 and we've been doing it ever since. As a Sylvan Lake resident, they do this kind of stuff all the time, and Sylvan Lake is just a great place to be because they just everyone wants you to have fun, and we always do. They have fun activities like this all the time, and Fun Day is one of the best ones. What makes Family Fun Day special is that it has a little bit of something for everyone. Whether it's the great food or the exceptional entertainment, Sylvan Lake assures that everyone has a great time some people maybe a little too much we get to roll around on the ground play with the kids um, paint our faces so we just get to interact more with the kids than 
you know, riding around in a police car and, and talking to them. It's a great opportunity for the community to come together and just play and have fun. Next year, we're going to be picking a date sometime in June, and we ask that anybody that is able to or willing to, if they contact the City of Sylvan Lake uh, City Hall and would like to make a donation, it's the, the public's and the business's donations that make this event possible. An awesome day of summer fun for everyone. Sylvan Lake Family Fun Day is sure to remain a community staple for years to come. For The Splash, I'm Tyler Kieft. Thank you, Tyler. And don't worry, if you missed out on this year's fun, there's always next year. Just visit civiccentertv.com slash sylvanlakefamilyfun to find out more. Well, you probably guessed it by now, but it's time for another episode of Sidewalk Talk. So without further ado, let's turn it over to George Moore. Hi, George Moore for Civic Center TV. They let us out again on the streets, and we got some great questions to ask you, the community. So we'll look for some great answers because the questions we got, oh yeah, stick around. What is your fondest or not so fondest memory from your senior prom? I didn't go to my senior prom. My mother didn't let me. Oh, I danced the night away. It was. I was, was with the best dancer in the school. The hairstyle was wonderful. I had it all shellac to one side, like this. I did not attend my senior prom. <laughs> Someone stepped on my dress and ripped it, and so I had to run home and change. And I think it was on purpose. And you know who you are. Well, during my senior prom, there wasn't very many men around. It was during the war, and uh, I did to get my neighbor lady's uh, brother who was a forever to take me. <laughs> I was never asked. No. No. Get out. I came from northern Michigan and small school. Never asked. We, I went with a bunch of girlfriends and and I was able to wear my high, high top tennis shoes instead of high heels so I was happy. Towards the end you know the boy drove me home and he wanted to kiss me, so I agreed. And he kissed me so hard that my lips, he, I think he cut my lip, and when I went in the house, my lips were like, they were already kind of full, but they were like three or four size, times the normal size when I went in the house. So of course my father, when he thought the boy hit me, and he went to go out and beat him up, so I had to stop him. Probably getting wasted and not having my parents know about it. What was that last song? End of the road. End of the road. How did that, how did that go? No. <laughs> no gonna... Everybody at my job says I can't sing, and you're trying to get me to sing that, so uh, I'll sing a little bit. It's, it's, Although we come to the end of the road, and I can't let go. You know the rest. We ask the people of the greater West Bloomfield area the questions we get the answers. Some great stuff out here. And we'll be looking forward to doing it out here again on the sidewalks of the greater West Bloomfield area. For The Splash, I'm George Moore. Sidewalk Talk. Some happy and rather sad answers this week. I hope everyone watching, though, had a good prom. But if not, then you can cheer yourself up by watching more Sidewalk Talk at civiccentertv.com slash sidewalk talk. Time now, though, for a Civic Center event update. And if you want to stay up to date on all these current events, then you can visit civiccentertv.com slash events. With that being said, let's get started. Why not kick off the summer by joining in on a day of fun in the sun? You can find all that and more at West Bloomfield Parks and Rec's Big Splash event, where families can play games in and around the pool, as well as score a photo opportunity with a mermaid. It all starts on June 11th at 11.30 a.m., and the cost is $7 for residents and $8 for non-residents. Registration is required, though, so be sure to do so soon. The West Bloomfield Film Discussion Series continues on this month with the movie Raging Bull, a compelling drama on the emotional and at times self-destructive life of a boxer. Now, this discussion is, of course, facilitated by Dr. Tara Hayes from Oak University and will take place on June 13th at 7 p.m. Be sure to watch the movie ahead of time as well in order to participate. 
The summer reading kickoff returns to the West Bloomfield Public Library, where kids can exercise their minds and bodies all in the same day. Now, there will be numerous events to take part in, such as miniature golf, face painting, human hamster balls, a bounce house, and an obstacle course. And it all starts on Saturday, June 18th at 10 a.m. and is free to the public. And since you'll be at the library, don't forget to check out some books while you're there, too. The City of Orchard Lake is hosting a Home Repair and Improvement Seminar on June 22nd at 6 p.m. The Michigan Department of Attorney will be presenting in order to help residents identify signs of home repair scams, recognize red flags with contractors, and learn to navigate the home repair process. Come on out and learn how to keep your home and wallet safe during this development. At the Berman Center for the Performing Arts, the West Bloomfield Police Foundation will be holding their Concert for a Cause in partnership with West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation. The event starts at 6.30 p.m. on June 23rd and will feature Steve Acho, along with special appearances by Karen Newman, Kyle Johnson, and a surprise local celebrity. The cost is $42 per person, and to register, you can visit theberman.org or call their office directly. Blessings in a Backpack brings Cirque Among Us back to West Bloomfield, so join in for a fun-filled day for all ages. The event, which is run entirely by volunteers, is dedicated to delivering bags of food to each elementary school in time for it to go home every Friday. In order to participate, just contact Katherine Shaco or come on out on June 25th, any time of the day, to help everyone bag up food items. Remember, hunger doesn't take a break over the weekend, so neither should you, so please donate to this wonderful cause. The Sylvan Lake Home and Garden Tour is coming up on June 25th at 10 a.m. This is a self-guided community-wide event with maps already provided and the option to take the tour at your own pace. You can drive, walk, bike, or ride their courtesy vans throughout a total of seven homes. All proceeds from this, benefit, from this event will benefit Sylvan Lake Parks and Community Center, and tickets are only $15 on tour day or $12 in advance, but you have to purchase them online now. Well, there you have it, folks. But if you're looking to find more events going on in your neighborhood, then be sure to follow us at civiccentertv.com slash events and look up our events calendar. And as always, stay tuned right here for more information on everything going on in the greater West Bloomfield area. Well, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, I'll be sitting down with Mark Green, composer of the hit motivational song, America Less Exercise, right after this. You are watching The Splash on Civic Center TV. Be sure to catch live coverage of Laker sports, up-to-date information on local events, and of course, non-stop music on 89.3 WBLD, the all-new Lakes FM. I'm Kelly Waterfall for Civic Center TV. All around West Bloomfield, people are saying there's great, if not totally compelling programming on Civic Center TV. What's the best way to know when our newest shows debut? Become a member. It's absolutely free. We'll send you a regular newsletter with all the latest updates. Just go to civiccentertv.com and click the Members tab. Civic Center TV, television that's close to home. For years, Civic Center TV has been bringing you live coverage of local municipal meetings. The meetings are now available on demand at civiccentertv.com slash meetings or watch the meetings again the following day on Civic Center TV, television that's close to home. And now... Back to the Splash on Civic Center TV. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Splash. I'm your host, Jonathan Jackson, and my guest on the show this week is composer and musician Mark Green, who's made a hit song called America Let's Exercise. Why not take a look? Move your body to the beat of this song, and you'll feel much better. And there you have it, just a little taste of America Less Exercise right there. Now, Mark, I got to tell you, we've been hit listening to that song all day today, and it is infectious. How did you come up with such a catchy tune? Great, thank you. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, the song came to me one morning. Mm -hmm. um, when I got up, the song, yeah. the tune was in my head. And uh, so by being a musician, you know, I just figured I'd better go in my family room and start writing and words just started to flow. Mm -hmm. uh, America, it's time to exercise. That's right. And, you know, you're, you're not just doing this for kids, but also adults, too. You get everybody involved, you know, to help prevent obesity and other right. health problems. You know. Yes, it's not targeting one race mm -hmm. of, uh, or any just one age group. Mm -hmm. It's a universal message for everyone. Yeah. So uh, young children 
all the way up to adults and seniors. Mm -hmm. So that song is also uh, encouraging for seniors to keep active, you know, as, as you get older. And you also are, you're involved a little bit with seniors here in West Bloomfield too, right? You Correct. play some music for them, I believe? I actually do over uh, just around the corner from here. <laughs> Basically, I come in every uh, second Saturday mm -hmm. and I provide some background music just for them to have like an ice cream social. And uh, so music is very rewarding. Yeah. And it's very nice to see the uh, seniors enjoy the music, play some familiar tunes for them. And music's been in your life for since the beginning, I mean, since you were born, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, I've been playing, I started playing guitar when I was five, mm -hmm. which is my main instrument, and uh, I've always had, had a love for piano. My mother played piano for years, and uh, so I just took, took a liking to the piano as well, and uh, so I've been playing music all my life. Come from a family of musicians. Yeah, always singing and music in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, and and you were you're very involved with jazz and uh, that that sort of form. Well, yeah, yes, you, well, you know, but being a musician, you kind of try different types of times. music, but more so traditional gospel. Okay, uh, I grew up playing in the church and still playing in church today. But you know, as a musician, you know, we me and my brothers we would uh, experiment with different types of music, mm -hmm. uh, jazz, yeah. uh, country. Uh, we even put a little distortion in the amps and do some a little rock every now and then. Oh, okay. You know, so we grew up just experimenting and having fun. It's always nice to be able to play different varieties and different genres of music. That's great. Now, Mark, let's take it back to America. Let's exercise for a second. Now, in the video, now that's not you singing. Who who no. is that exactly <laughs> in the video? Because that, <laughs> that, <guy, laughs> that is my nephew Gabriel. Green. Okay. okay. Um, no, that is not me. I mm. just. I try not to do any singing, oh. <laughs> uh, but he, uh, I asked him if he would come in to uh, record this song for mm -hmm. me. So he actually learned that song on the very day that we recorded it. Mm. And uh, so, yes, uh, he did a phenomenal job. I yes, think. he did. So yeah, he's a good singer. Very Thank good. You. I'll and have to let him know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's, tell him I said that, yeah. But you, you are taking America's Let's Exercise literally across the country. I mean, you've been a lot of places here in Michigan, mm -hmm. but I recently saw you in Wyoming and some other, wh wh where else are you yes, taking? Yes, uh, I've been to Wyoming, Michigan, mm -hmm. which was my last interview, uh, mm -hmm. two hours away on the other side of the state. Oof, yeah. Uh, been over to Shelby, yeah. um, been over to Ann Arbor. Uh, that went to uh, Toledo. Toledo, okay. Uh, they yeah. have a, a local talk show over there, Glass City Grind. And so I was on there last uh, summer. And so the, the goal is for it to go national. So I'm, I'm every chance I get, I'm out promoting and uh, interviewing. And uh, the goal is to spread the message to get it to go national because it's a universal message. That's true, very true. Mm -hmm. And keeping kids active um, is important today. I mean, you know, childhood obesity unfortunately is up mm -hmm. and activity is down. And during the summer months, a program or at least a song like America Likes Exercise can help pe people get active, you know, and stay active. Yes, that, that's the whole idea is to mm -hmm. plant the seed. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I often say in, in so many times that we all have our types of music that we like to exercise to, uh, whether it be rap or any other mm -hmm. type of music. But America Let's Exercise is just a motivational song. Yeah, it's uplifting, um, yeah, yeah. And and for you to just get up, you know, you may not have an opportunity to go to the gym. Some people like to stay in their homes and work out. So mm -hmm. with America Let's Exercise, you can put that song on and just dance, mm -hmm. you know, in the comfort of your home. Nobody's looking at you, you could just have a good time. And so then it plants the seed, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, maybe I should get up and take a little bit further, go out and walk around a little bit and even even take a little bit further and go to the gym. Yeah, follow your nephew's lead. He, he grabbed the kids, he's like, let's get <laughs> yes, up, let's yes, exercise, yes. you know? Yeah, and exactly. So yes, uh, it's it's very motivational. Mm -hmm. uh, I even listen to it myself, you know, <laughs> and I um, just try to keep the message going. All right, well, Mark, thank you for joining us today mm -hmm. here. We appreciate you sharing your vision here of America Less Exercise, thank and you. we hope everybody at home is also taking part because this is important. We got to stay active. We have to stay healthy and doing programs like this and hearing music like this, yes. which I mean already, I mean, like I said, we've been hearing it all day to he today here in the studio and people are just getting up and moving and saying, what is that catchy song? <laughs> <laughs> we got to meet that guy. <laughs> right, thank you. Well, we're spreading, as I said, we're spreading from city to city mm -hmm. um, across America. And uh, as you know, it started in Auburn Hills, but it's national. Yeah. You know, I, I, I do thank Auburn Hills for giving me the foundation to build off of, but mm. West Bloomfield, we're, we're looking for someone to do a third video. So uh, if you have any ideas, just reach out to me and we can collaborate on, on a project and make, it, make a third video. All right. So. Well, thank you again, Mark. Appreciate it. Thank Everybody, you. once again, check out America Let's Exercise. You can go to their Facebook page, look up America Let's Exercise from there. and. Find out more videos and footage of Mark and all the good that they're doing. So help spread the word. Mark, thanks again for joining. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Well, it's time for a segment we like to call Park Perspective, where members of West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation give us some details on upcoming and current events within West Bloomfield. 
What good would a summer be without at least one pool party? West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation hosts a variety of fun events at the Family Aquatic Center's outdoor pool, located at 6200 Farmington Road. We have four parties throughout the summer that include games, food, themed activities, and fun for the whole family. Big Splash is June 11th. Independence Day celebration is July 2nd. Shark Attack at the FAC is July 23rd, and the final wave is August 21st. These parties run during regular pool hours from 11.30 a.m. to 8 p.m., and regular admission fees do apply. We also have special dive-in discount days, June 13th through June 17th, with special activities planned for each day, including flip-flop makeovers, pool noodle nirvana, splish splash sundays, and more. The pool is open from 3.30 to 7 p.m. for these special discount days. For more details on our pool special events, check us out online at westbloomfieldparks.org. Thanks, Kelly. And if you'd like to see even more events happening within West Bloomfield, then check out the Parks and Rec website at westbloomfieldparks.org. A lot of fun water events coming up, folks, so stay tuned for those. Well, we now turn to our other segment here on The Splash, our Person of the Week, where we acknowledge an individual within the community who is either helping or inspiring others. And this week's recipient is Leon Padell from Orchard Lake. Leon Padell is the secretary of the Orchard Lake Aquatic Advisory Board. His main job is to protect our waterways within the greater West Bloomfield area. For example, he helps to get pollutants and litter out of our lakes and streams while planting trees and other barriers around them. Leon also educates the public on the dangers of allowing fertilizers and pollutants into the lake, causing more weed growth and making it harder to maintain fish life within those bodies of water. Leon's other passions include aquatic animals, and he strives to keep algae and other plants from running rampant within their homes. But now, with summer approaching, Leon's next focus is to maintain our beaches and lakes for swimmers, not only keeping us healthy, but our waterways as well, making Leon our Person of the Week. If you or someone you know is providing a service to their community, then let us know by sending an email to the splash at civiccentertv.com. We want to congratulate those who are making a difference in our area, and we appreciate any and all suggestions. Well, that's all the time we have for today. But as always, you can catch new episodes of The Splash every Monday at 6.30 and throughout the week for replays. You can also look up previous episodes online at civiccentertv.com or follow us on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook under Civic Center TV for more information. For all our friends in Sylvan Lake, Orchard Lake, Kego Harbor, and of course, West Bloomfield, I'm Jonathan Jackson, and we want to thank you for watching.